Hi and welcome to The Property Show, your first port of call on all things real estate. Today's show is interesting. I'll be connecting the dots on opportunities available at Two Rivers City, the only development offering live, work and play lifestyle experience. Also feature an update on upscale homes tanky budget solution where we are turning a plot into a dream home the property news captures unveiling of stock financing package partnership between crown pins and INM bank I'm very happy that uh, Arnhem, we have been launching with uh, this platform at Iron Bank today. Uh, we grow economy, we grow our dealer networks and we grow our company. King Serenity Open Day. We'll be able to listen to you to see how you can be part of this uh, affordable housing program. So come and talk to us in our branch in Ongatorongai. Habitat for Humanity, building 40 homes as they celebrate their 40 years anniversary. It is good to assist those who are less fortunate. If you go to major towns like Nairobi, 60% of the population are living in dilapidated homes. An array of home decor pieces you can pick from Two Rivers City. Tips on how to navigate when getting onto the property ladder. You want to own a property. Initially, you don't have any financial source. Even you don't know how you'll get the money. But first dream, start saving small. Our social media handles are open. Our diaspora desk is open too for your comments, feedback, questions, and let's keep chatting. As always, there is something for everyone. Today, I'm taking a tour of Centum Real Estate Two Rivers Project, where they pride on providing live, work, and play lifestyle experience. My day kicks off at the gym. Come with me. If you enjoy swimming, the heated infinity pool is available too. Off to the jogging track. The morning exercises are over. It's time to have breakfast and get ready to go to the office. See you later. Riverbank Apartments is one of the options available at Two Rivers. Security and the reception is fully manned. The highlights of these apartments is spacious units, fully fitted kitchen, and of course, the gym, infinity pool, ample parking, and so much more. Let's see what's available. Hi Rachel, 
I'm done with my gym. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Let me have my keys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Avanti. beautiful way to start my day. A refreshing bath with a vent system. It's time for my breakfast. Breakfast is courtesy Holiday Inn, which is just nearby. If you don't like cooking, they've got you covered, and I love the views. Riverbank Apartments is a residential flagship project sitting on two acres of land located within Two Rivers Development, a world-class mixed-use development within Nairobi's Blue Diplomatic Zone. The project consists of one, two- and three-bedroom apartments, incorporating smart gadgets, controlling aspects of the home including the alarm system, music, curtains, among others. Amenities in the project include spacious separate living and dining area leading to the balcony with beautiful views, an open-plan modern kitchen with marble countertop, as well as inbuilt fridge, dishwasher, oven, microwave, hob and cooker with piped LPG gas, top and bottom cabinets for storage, laundry area with an extra sink, common cloakroom, all the bedrooms have walk-in closets and the master bedroom comes with a bathtub, shower cubicle as well as his and hers sink. The project comes with state-of-the-art lighting system as well as high-quality finishings. Riverbank Apartments affords you immediate access to fine dining restaurants, entertainment, fashion avenues, hypermarkets and plenty of green parks. The one thing that you love about this apartment is the top-notch accommodation. Spacious rooms, open plan fitted kitchen, large windows with a lot of natural light, ambience and the workmanship. Every detail has been thought through. Now, off to work. Thank you so much, Ken, for having us all day at Two Rivers City. Thank you, Nancy, for finding time to visit Two Rivers. Did you enjoy your day? Actually, I really enjoyed. I enjoyed my breakfast at Holiday Inn. I enjoyed seeing the houses that are available from entry level to very luxurious units. I enjoyed the shops. I can't believe you have everything from furniture to outfits. You have everything. I loved it. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. So Two Rivers is a model city on uh, mixed use. We have everything. We have the residential component, we have the office component, we have the retail component, we have the hotel component. And uh, on the residential component, our focus is to bring in more affordable so that this becomes the preferred residential destination of choice for everyone in, in the country. Over the next five years, we should have uh, more than 10,000 units here. 
and that's a small proportion of what uh, we can do within our developments. Wow, let's talk about the other developments you have across the country as well as in other countries. So our developments across East Africa are themed uh, around uh, mixed-use developments. Uh, we provide the infrastructure, we provide the residential components, and we give investors an opportunity to make a good return. All the developments are anchored around affordable and uh, desirable places to live in. You know, when I went to some of the apartments, one of my questions I asked, you have units that you're selling to people who can live here, investors who want to just invest. Take us through the kind of services you're offering. So our product development is based on in-depth market research. We identify where there is a market gap and then we meet that market gap uh, through an investment product that can give a return to investors and also provide a high quality environment to the end user. So 90% of our homeowners are investors. They are looking at a 7 to 8% rental yield. So we develop and build products that are affordable. Our rents start from 20,000 all the way to 100,000. And those rentals give investors 7 to 8% rental yield. That's why 80% of our products at any given time are sold. Talk to us about the Vipingo development. Uh, Vipingo development is a mixed use uh, development along the Kenyan coast. It's anchored by an industrial park and a huge residential component. We've started the second phase of residential where we are selling affordable units starting from 2.5 million all the way to 8 million with a 24 month payment plan. So we are meeting the housing demand around the Kenyan coast. What about Uganda? In Uganda, we've uh, recently completed a construction of 360 units. We're starting the second phase. We have a prime and a really beautiful location around the shores of Lake Victoria. We are focusing on affordable mixed-use developments and uh, all the units there are sold out. We've started the second phase. As one of the largest real estate developers in the region, what makes you tick? A combination of factors. We have a business that is uh, anchored on the real fundamentals. There is a huge housing uh, gap. Uh, example in Kenya, the annual demand is more than 200,000 units per year. All the developers combined supply less than 50,000 units. So though we are one of the largest, we are barely scratching the surface, we want to scale up and meet the housing needs and the investment needs across a real estate market. We see our future uh, focusing in a big way on the affordable housing market, and that is where even I've seen the government uh, efforts are. So we are, we are going to provide high quality lifestyle uh, products that uh, families and businesses will thrive in. Of course, this journey has its own ups and downs. What are the challenges and what are the pain points you tell any developer who wants to enter into this market to watch out for? The challenges are many. Also, those challenges make opportunities. So there is a market uh, challenge. You cannot create a market. Luckily, the market exists. There is a mismatch between supply and demand and pricing. So that's, that's a good opportunity. Two, there is the infrastructure constraint. Uh, water, power, sewer, master plant developments, control development. That, uh, luckily, you find within all our projects that the basic infrastructure has been put in place. There's also the risk of funding uh, commercially viable project. Uh, luckily, when the project is commercially viable, capital is chasing good opportunities, we'll be able to fund the project. Then there is execution uh, risk. Uh, starting a project is easy, seeing it through to and completing within time and budget is also a constraint. Uh, within Centum Real Estate, we have a combined experience of more than 100 years. So we are able to execute projects and we've handed over more than 800 units and 1,700 units under construction and want to scale that up to 10,000 units. What was your inspiration when you brought in all the other amenities? The founders of the business and the people who set up this uh, business, the focus was on uh, what would make a high quality environment, what would people require? If you have a young family, what is your requirement? You want to bring up your family in a secure environment where your kids can ride their bikes, they can walk during the day. 
if you're in the age of 40, 50, you want to promote your health by either walking, jogging, cycling. You also want your family to, to come up in a nice environment. So we started with those amenities. So like this uh, cutting facility caters for all market segment. We have the theme park, we have a kids play area, we have the jogging track, we have the roads. So within two rivers or within Centum real estate mixed use developments, you don't need to go outside our developments to meet your healthy needs. And uh, we also want to take nice photos of where you stay. So th th that environment has to be beautiful. I know that one of the markets that you have captured very well and you're very good at it, it has continued to be your lead market is the diaspora. How are you targeting the diaspora market and what makes the diasporans choose your projects over and over and over? We identified the gap they had. One was to get a quality products that can give them a decent return. Two is a execution. So normally they send money to friends and relatives and projects are not completed on time. Luckily for the projects we've done, we finished on time. They have gotten tenants. So the rental return that comes from those units are shared between the diaspora investor and the family back home. So we bridge that, that uh, market gap that was there previously. Yeah. What's your take on the real estate sector as we go ahead and give us your parting shots? Uh, thank you, Nancy. Uh, we have a wonderful team, a wonderful board, a wonderful set of investors who have been believed in our dream, supported us through the entire process. So we'll continue offering housing solutions, specifically on our, the affordable market segment and building model cities across uh, Africa. The housing challenge in Nairobi is the same as Dar es Salaam, it's the same as uh, Kigali, Kampara. So the lessons run here can be replicated across Africa and we can build a great Pan-African business and that's the vision. Asante sana. It's a fact. Centum projects connect the dots when it comes to live, work and play lifestyle experience. What we do normally do at the Mad Mascating, we actually normally host uh, team building events, uh, family outings, product launches. The game is actually very safe because the marshals here are being trained. We've got professional drivers who normally also come here to do some cutting at the Mad Mascating. It's a place for bonding, family bonding. If you have also camp corporates, you can actually come and do some product launches. You can come and do at Mad Max Cutting. And uh, our prices are actually fairly very fair as uh, compared to other, any other places. So you can actually bring down your families, your friends to come and bound down at Mad Max Cutting. With the live, work and play lifestyle, let's hear more about the office spaces available here at Two Rivers City. Karibu sana on the show and thank you for having us at Two Rivers. Thank you and most welcome. Give us an overview of the office spaces that are available here at Two Rivers City. So part of the development that we have uh, that mainly includes the retail is a combination of office spaces. So if you come to Two Rivers, you'll notice that on top of the mall, we have two blocks, and that's where we have the office spaces. At the moment, we're giving spaces from between 500 square feet up to sizes of above 150,000 square feet. 150,000 square, square feet. You have enough space? Yes, we do. So actually, we've been trying to interest 
large corporates who may be looking to either branch out, expand or get a new address. So we can host up to that amount in terms of the sizes. Yeah. Who are your current tenants? So we have a mix of corporates uh, being led by our group, which is Centum. We have some of our partners who also take spaces within the mall. We have the headquarters for Kafo within our office blocks. We have the headquarters for LT Waikiki. We also have uh, diplomatic missions also with addresses in our office. We have the, the Caribbean Embassy here. We have the Turkish Visa Application uh, Office in this block. We also now have uh, a number of small, upcoming, medium enterprises who have addresses within Two Rivers. What is unique at Two Rivers City? So the uniqueness of the product we are offering is a wholly combined or self-sustaining kind of arrangement. So save for just having an office space here, you are serviced by the retail center. So that complements your capacity to even house visitors, do office meetings. We have a hotel within the facility. So even managing visitors who may need to live within, that is also provided for. Then we are not limiting as to the amount of space you can take. So we've opened doors to everybody. We're giving spaces from as low as 500 square feet. And we can also house uh, corporates who need spaces as much as 150,000 square feet. Yeah. Now that you're in this industry, what's your take on the commercial real estate? So I think over the past few years, there has been a lot of talk about supply and demand, especially on the commercial offices side. But I think what now is happening within the market, the market is looking at the person offering the space who is flexible enough to be able to accommodate what the market is driving towards. If you look closely, you'll notice that there's a lot of demand for small units. We've tried and tested that. In the past about 12 months, we've managed to let about 40,000 square feet of space. So that should communicate something even to, to other players within this commercial sector of the market. And what's your take on the retail market? A lot of people say that the retail market is quite low at the moment. What would you say? So opportunities are there. I think the challenge with our market is that we have had a limited number of retailers that every center is fighting to have. But the opportunity lies on that landlord or, or that lesser who is looking far and beyond, who is willing to go out there and attract new brands. We've seen an influx of that over the past few years. And I think the advantage now, especially for Two Rivers, is we still have space to go. So a lot of what competition is offering, or because of their size limitation, they've sort of run out of space. So we still have the muscle to go out there and attract big tenants who may be even looking at large size of shops. So I think it's an opportunity for us, and it's also an opportunity for the market, because once they land here, as several others have, there's no limitation as to how far they should grow. Yeah, so it's an opportunity. Thank you so much and I hope our viewers will call you and book a space at Two Rivers for their offices. All of them are welcome. We definitely will offer a solution to either or any of them that comes our way. A question frequently posed is why should one invest in Two Rivers City? First, it's one of the developments that truly offer the live, work and play lifestyle experience. Secondly, location, location, location. You can't beat the location of Two Rivers. The development is located within the Blue Diplomatic Zone and is accessible from both Northern Bypass and Limuru Road. It is also the most sought after address within the Nairobi metropolis. Thirdly, security, state of the art, round the clock, 24 seven security. Another winner at Two Rivers City is the amenities, 
Each individual residential project has its own set of amenities, ranging from water and power supply, internet connectivity, kitchen and communal gardens, heated swimming pools, gym, green courtyards, children's play area, and sports district with jogging tracks, a soccer pitch, basketball, tennis court, connecting all the dots if you're looking for a place to live, work, and play lifestyle experience. If you're looking for affordable to luxury living, we are happy to make Two Rivers your personal address and we are just a telephone call away. Next, an update on turning a plot into a dream home with our Upscale Homes Tanky Budget Solution. Do you have a plot and wishing to transform it into a dream home? Upscale Homes Tanky Budget Service is the best solution, offering a stress-free and seamless construction process. Coming up, unveiling of a stock financing package partnership between Crown Paints and INM Bank. Let's see how that unfolded. Crown Paints. If you like it, crown it. INM is, is um, looking as part of a strategy which is called Imara to really grow and see how we can support the SME space in, in, in Kenya. And you may have seen uh, the recent statistics where it's projected that 50% of the growth in the GDP in the country over the next three years is going to be driven by SMEs. And therefore it's, it's critical for, you know, as an economy for us to see how we can support SMEs grow. I'm really excited to, you know, uh, uh, for us to have such partnerships that we're planning to do with Crown. Uh, which really not only basically provide a solution that helps grow Crown Paints, but also grows and helps supports uh, access to credit to their whole ecosystem, which is largely targeted to the MSME and the SME space. I'm really excited about this partnership. Crown is a leading paint brand in this country, and now we are partnering with one of the leading banks INM. Actually, what we are trying to do as far as this partnership is concerned, we are enabling all the Kenyans, not only the crown paint dealers, but any aspirant who, who wanted to venture in paint business, any hardware store, any paint dealers, any paint retailer, and they have the constraint of working capital. So this is the solution whereby now they will get the working capital assistance from our partner. This is not only for the retailers and the paint traders. Even this partnership we are extending to all the Wananchis who really wanted to paint their home, they, who wanted to make 
not only their house colorful but their life also and we are here to support each and every vananchi in kenya not only this even this solution is meant for fundis you know we have more than 180000 registered painters with us and we have created a sako for them team kubwa painter sako we are providing the training to all these painters to make them more efficient and a professional painter now with the help of this partnership they will enable to purchase express painting tools and even if they need for the transportation bank is ready to provide them the loan for motorbikes because our purpose at INM is to empower your prosperity we are looking now for um our different customers such as as crown paints to see how we can support them in uh, helping others to to prosper so how do we achieve this we have made significant investments as a business in how we can deliver solutions through digital platforms you've had uh, that crown paints is a very innovative company and indeed they are i think Uh, you have seen quite some unique solutions that they have brought to the market so over time we are able to bring our end of uh, innovation in the financial services to partner with them effectively to be able to um, reach their customers as well as as ours we are also using um, data analytics to better understand our customers and make sure that we are then fashioning uh, solutions that are appropriate uh, to them We have also understood that uh, the opportunity that uh, there is to really make this country grow effectively comes from the SME and the MSME space and we have had that um, repeated over and over again so this partnership with Crown Paints is really welcome because it underlines how we intend to work uh, as a business in our, and implement our strategy the Kenyan has a great potential and Kenya country has a great potential for entrepreneurship and uh, rather than you know we make people entrepreneur and make uh, their survival uh, is is the best for economic growth and that's the reason that we have been getting into the partnership with inm bank uh, in think my experience with inm bank is very great i am my uh, have my personal accounts and we have a, a lot of banking relationship with and uh, we always found that they are very very proactive in uh, innovations concern and a new suggestion when our comes you know so i think uh, this opportunity which we would like to explore uh, this is the solutions for our, all our dealers basically fraternity of entire printing business which involve in contractors printers fundi dealers uh, who all going to get uh, immense benefit of this solutions and i'm very happy that uh, the inm we have been launching with uh, this platform in inm bank today uh it's going to be great day it's going to be great success for all of us and we make sure that uh, uh we grow economy we we grow our dealer networks and we grow our company crown paints products are accessible across the country crown paints if you like it crown it We are taking a short commercial break. Still ahead, property news with events happening in the real estate landscape. Home decor pieces available at Two River City. Our favorite home ownership segment on advice when getting onto the property ladder. so long as you are determined so long as you are focused i believe you'll be able to get the right property that you have always been dreaming don't touch that doubt we'll be right back after the break
from the king of paint. Introducing the latest innovation, Crown Granite Finish Paint. Paint you can't stop staring at. A unique granite finish paint that 100% looks like natural granite stone, but at a fraction of the cost of natural granite stone. With elegant designs that suits every building and can be used on multiple surfaces, both interior and exterior. Crown Granite Finish Paint is super weatherproof and self-cleaning. It is water and dust resistant, retains color, bridges cracks, and is non-combustible. It is specially designed to care for the environment. You can choose from a wide variety of colors and patterns today. Crown Granite Finish Paint, paint you can't stop staring at. Crown Paints, if you like it, crown it. Welcome back. You're watching The Property Show, your number one port of call on all things real estate. Recently, King's developers held an open day on their current project, King's Serenity, located in Ongata, Rongai. Our partners, APSA Bank, were at hand with their affordable mortgage products. Let's get a snippet on that event. Today we are here at King's Serenity in Ongatrongai. As APSA Bank, we are actually participating in this open day. We are able to offer a mortgage facility for this affordable housing for funding up to 6 million shillings. And we'll be able to listen to you to see how you can be part of this affordable housing program. So come and talk to us in our branch in Ongatrongai. Uh, located at the Times Arcade. This is one of King's developers' project, King Serenity. King Serenity is uh, 734 apartments, two bedroom units. We have 10 blocks. Each and every apartment is given a one parking space comes, which is inclusive of the prices. The prices are 4 million. We have a number of amenities here. We have a community hall. We have a kids play area. All our lights are solar lights. In fact, that is one of the main things, especially being under affordable housing. We have tried to make it as energy sustainable as possible. I urge Kenyans to come in and see the kind of projects that we do. We shall also be doing more projects in the future. So with this, you shall have an idea of what kind of projects we are doing. So as we all know, affordable housing is the way to go. A lot of Kenyans are looking at buying their first unit. So. In partnership with the government, we have this project which we have already actually completed. Uh, we have King Sapphire in Nakuru, which has 605 houses in Bundeni, which we are doing in partnership with the government. That project is completing in uh, next year, December. And going forward, we are also keen on working more with the government, working more with the, with the Kenyan people and see on how we can give quality houses at affordable pricing. The benefits of taking an APSA affordable solution, first of all, you'll be able to enjoy a mortgage facility for a period of 25 years, meaning that we are one of the banks that has the longest tenure for repayment. APSA has helped uh, the low and middle income earners afford houses by providing this affordable housing proposition, whereby we are able to give 100% financing to customers interested in buying units of 6 million and below. So for King Serenity, we are able to provide a straight purchase. This is whereby we are able to give you financing up to 25 years, dependent on your retirement age. At a very lucrative rate of 9.5%, which is one of the best rates within the market. Habitat for Humanity is built on the foundation of bringing people together and providing decent, sustainable homes. This year, they celebrated 40 years by constructing 40 homes. Next, let's see how that unfolded.
the gap uh, of housing in Kenya was uh, 2 million in 2017. Up to now, it is reaching about 3 million because uh, very little was done during that period. Only 1,300 homes were built. The homes done by private sector was not yet accounted for. And so we feel there was very little done at that time, despite uh, the promise of about 500 units. So if we continue building 250,000 units now and going forward, we are going to bridge that gap because 200,000 is going to bridge the annual deficit. 50,000 is going to clear the backlog. And so for some time, we are going to reduce the housing deficit in Kenya. It is good to assist those who are less fortunate. If you go to major towns like Nairobi, 60% of the population are living in dilapidated homes without sanitation, without proper hygiene. And this is something that needs to be addressed. And as Habitat, we have chosen to focus on low-income families. It is our 40th anniversary this year because we were established in 1982. We had committed to build 40 homes, but God has blessed us. We have been able to mobilize 74 homes, which we are going to build this year, and the number is continuing to increase. So small efforts that can be done by an NGO like Habitat, if every other person did this, the private sector, individuals, we will go very, very fast. I could tell you the home that we have uh, been able to construct in this place, there were two today that have been started. 33 square meter home costing 850,000. If you do that per square meter, you get about 25,000. Where do you get that in uh, uh, the, this, this sector? This is an affordable home and this is what you want to see. And uh, we are asking Kenyans, please go out there and assist your neighbor. In these initiatives, if you want to assist for the people whom we are constructing homes here, then uh, all you need to do is to send uh, your money through Empasa. The pay bill number is 506600. The account number is HFH Kenya. In this money, you don't need to contribute a lot. A stone is only 35 shillings. That's all you need to contribute. This home needs about 930 stones. So you can combine with as many people as you can to contribute 930 stones. But a stone alone is costing 35 shillings. You can also contribute a mabati. A mabati is just 700 shillings. And this home needs about 35 mabati. You can do it alone or in combination. Cement, here we'll be using about 70 bags of cement. A bag of cement just goes for about 800 and you'll be able to assist a family. This is something that you can do in your own way, through us, even through groups that can combine, churches, construct homes for those who are less vulnerable. Today we celebrate, we celebrate because um, there are two milestones that we are celebrating. The partnership with Habitat for Humanity Kenya, which we got into. For us, partnerships at the foundation are key because um, under SDG 17, uh, it's one of the things that uh, will help us uh, achieve our uh, social development goals. So today happens to be one, um, Habitat is celebrating Habitat Day and we are also celebrating uh, our community service in KCB Foundation and uh, as a group. And it was very important for us to be with the community. So today we are very excited. We have joined two families at uh, Machakos County at um, Chumbi and we've worked together with the community, together with other partners. Uh, we had Strathmore University, uh, we had uh, Habitat for Humanity, and together we've been able to help put up two homes. Housing is a basic need and um, every human deserves to be, uh, have a decent housing. I remember as I was in school, one of the things um, that we were reminded is that housing is a basic need. Unfortunately, with the current deficit of 250,000 houses annually, the overall deficit continues to continue and a lot of families live in indecent homes. So it is our goal in the foundation to encourage more partners to come and join us hands. In November we will be going to Laikipia again to support another needy family, get a shelter, because shelter is indeed a basic, a basic need. In this partnership um, we intend to bring our Ubuntu, which is Tungane, where our staff can participate and give their sweat equity. Because for us, we believe community building is not just about the money, it's also about giving the time. And it was just fantastic seeing the teams working together, teams from different corporates, 
working together. And it was amazing the smiles we were able to put to the, um, to the families. It was almost emotive. Uh, but it just reminded us the core of Ubuntu and the basic of Ubuntu about being one and being there for one another. Sema, ya vita tiku nisaidia sana. Kwa vile maali ile nitoa, sikuwa na uwezo wa kujitoa hapo. Na vile ni naona ikiendelea, mambo wa kusaidia ni mengi. Na hii yote, inatoka kwa mungu. Nasema ni asandi kwa habitat na wenye kujitolea wote, wenye wamejitolea, wasaidie na nasema mungu watubaliki zote. Mi nasasema ni shukurani sana kwa habitat kwa kutusaidia. Imetutua mbali, imetuokoa. Tulikuwa tukombali sana lakini saa hii imetuleta karibu. Nasema ni mungu, mungu ya wabariki, ya waongeze. Ni kwa nawe chukuu yangu mbili. Kiyo niko nae kwa nyumba na kaanga nae. Leo nimeshukuru sana kwa wenye kunichengea poma. Nimesema asandi kwa mungu. Na nikainua nikono juu nikasema aliluja. Mungu waonekanye na umawalinde saiki. Waendele na kasi musuri. Na nikaribu tena kiasa. The Property News is the segment that highlights all events happening in the real estate landscape. Are you looking to host an event and would like to be featured on this platform? Just drop us a line and lock our calendar. Coming up, the accessory spot with home decor pieces available at Two River City. At Two Rivers City, they have a variety of furniture pieces across board. Whether you love a sleek, luxury modern design or gravitate towards the timeless style, the accessory spot has got you covered with interior design ideas. Our in-house interior decorators are also available to help you through the process of turning your home into a wow factor. Our favorite home ownership segment is next, with advice on how to navigate when getting onto the property ladder. Anyone thinking of buying a home, you must have the, the vision. First dream, dream of owning a home, even if you don't have the financial aspects, just dream. Start saving in a small way, then go out there, start searching. Some people have agents, some people have circles and whatever you to search for them, but still make that step by yourself, go out there, visit, see them by yourself, then do your own due diligence, then engage the financiers if you have them, have have honest discussion with them. Explain to them your financial situation and give them the plan. 
then in between you are able to share. They also have been this business, they also experienced enough, they are also able to guide you here and there so that uh, you can work together. It's a journey where you all work together. Yourself as a buyer, the financier and the developer, you come together and you work together in this journey. There are always challenges here and there, but so long as you have that vision, you remain focused, keep on working towards what you want to, to achieve. And finally, you'll get your property. My parting shot and advice to young people will be, you want to own a property. Initially, you don't have any financial source, even you don't know how you'll get the money. But first dream, start saving small, go out there, check what's available in the market, then start narrowing down your dreams, your vision, with what's available in the, in the market. So long as you are determined, so long as you are focused, I believe you'll be able to get the right property that you have always been dreaming. Home ownership is an exciting journey with challenges along the way. What was your experience and would you like to share it on this platform and encourage the next home owner? Just give us a call and I'll be at your doorstep. We've come to the end of today's edition. Thank you for keeping it property show. Next week, the Two Rivers City live, work and play lifestyle experience continues. Let's continue engaging on our social media handles. Our diaspora desk is open too. Send in your comments, feedback, and questions, and let's talk. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri. Crown Paints. If you like it, crown it.